Peterborough show. It's only going to be a short video this, hopefully, unless I get distracted, you know me. Um, what it is, at the show we've got a consort Oslo S2, we've got a Devon Aztec XL, and we've got the Vantage EOS. All three of the vans that we had on our shortlist, but we hadn't actually seen in person recently. We, we got heritage footage which I used um, to make the decision but I'm going to show you the vans in close up now and uh, you can see what we liked and what we disliked about the vans and uh, yeah hopefully it may help someone else in their decision if they want to see a consort or a Devon or a Vantage. Hello right you join me today at the Peterborough show um, I'm in a consort Oslo S2 uh, thanks to consort Scott and Jane that have let me in the van. Um, yeah, a bit of a disclaimer before we go. It's been terribly muddy. Scott's done his best to clean the van out, but it, there's a little bit of grime on the carpets, but that's not no detriment to them. So yeah, um, I'll show you quickly around this van. This was one of the ones on our list. Um, speaking to Scott, actually, it turns out they could have done a bit of fettling for us on this one to make the bed bigger. Um, I'll show you, I'll spin the camera around and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so if you look on the passenger side of the van um, with this, you get a larger worktop. What they've said they can do is they can actually shunt this and make a six foot six bed if they wanted. You'd lose a little bit of this, but not a lot. Presumably they'd thinen this, this cupboard out. So they do a bit of bespoking as well. If you're in the market for a a 6.3 meter van or indeed a six meter i suppose they can do it on that with a with an even smaller kitchen but anyway on this one they can make the bed a bit bigger um this is exactly the same as many that we've looked at it's got the shelf at the back it's the u-shaped lounge all the sort of same thing storage in a boot at the back which i'll show you in a minute it's it these vans are very very well built um you know can't complain at the lockers and everything they're really really screwed together well as I'd say. I'm not going to be massively comprehensive on this one. Um, there are many reviews on this. Indeed, this is the actual van that Bob Earnshaw filmed for us at the Harrogate show. But yeah, if you're interested, come and speak to Scott at Consort. Um, they are really well laid out. The, there are a couple of things in this and I, you know, I've spoken to Scott. I'm not, I'm not slating the van that, that didn't suit us. Uh, again, storage is brilliant um, one of the things we did want when we looked at uh, the van that we're looking at I'm not keen on the fridge here because you, your seat doesn't go all the way around and and Scott knows that but the good thing that he does where my hand is there they don't go too tight there so you you can get your seat right back in this van I can actually put the seat right back and sit comfortably in a driving position and they have got the mount for the table there so you can actually use this in the way that we we wanted to it's just again we sort of decided that we wanted a free space there i'm quite keen on the on the low desk as you know and the window but this was very high on the list of possibilities um again one thing that did it got down to that much on the list it's just shower curtains really um i've gone for a timber door you know you don't have to make many compromises in this fan but it's just one of them things that uh we compromised on so this was on the maybe list but it just sort of missed out um but yeah i just thought i'd, I'd show you around this one um we have seen it before obviously and i did use a bit of stock video footage that i took um at the time but yeah do i wish i'd come and speak speak to them personally i don't know because even if they could have made the bed longer that would have been great but we just still got a shower curtain and I, i'm just besotted with the with the low level thing there which i'll show you when we pop into the devon later right so quickly show you the boot it's not huge but it's it's perfectly usable that I presume they could put access through but there isn't any on this at the moment and then like I say you've got your shelf there 
and this stops the drafts and stuff and then you've got this little knick-knack shelf up the top there won't bother too much going around the outside of the van and yes it's a Peugeot with Fiat wheels on you don't have to tell me that in the comments they have basically used a a used van just for a show model so um, yeah just to make it look a bit nicer it's got alloys on it but this wouldn't be the actual style you know you won't you wouldn't get a Peugeot van with Fiat wheels on so but as we all know the base fan is exactly the same but yeah it's a lovely van well screwed together I can't fault um, consort for that it's a very popular van and there's Scott himself right so this is Scott from consort he's just going to show me what he would do this may interest you if you're a future buyer if you're a, a big lad like me and Scott himself is quite tall um, he can make that bed that side. What, six foot five, Scott? At the moment, this bed is six foot three to the Six foot three here. to there six now. Three. So what we can do, if we wanted to make the bed another three inches longer, we can take the three inches out of this unit here. Yeah. And it still leaves these drawers a really good size, and it would allow us then to make that bed uh, three inches longer, which would give you that extra bit yeah. of space in the bed, which is more akin to a, uh, a king size bed. Yes, a king size bed. And so not really much of a, a, a no. I don't here. Still a huge work surface. Still a nice big sink. Nice big tap. Yeah. You know, lots of. And you, you tell me a bloke that wouldn't want another three inches. Well, there you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could also take it out of the centre, We could, I, I mean, suppose. That, that, that is the other option. You know, we could take it out of this cupboard. I mean, that cupboard is 360 um, as it is. That's the 360. Yeah, so if you look... Inches. If we take it three inches out of there, then it does make it a little bit narrower. You know, but you still usable. It it's still useful. And, and for... Here, you know, this little bit yeah, the here, drawers are quite big. That, you wouldn't notice, would you? Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. notice that. And you know, we have we have done that. Um, yeah. To make this and it, bigger. So it, an interesting bigger. point for people, if they if they are aware, the size of that door is all the difference between one of these and a six meter van. That's exactly. quite when yeah. you when you look on the outside, it's it's shocking to see that that door is it. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. So in the six meter van, you get this unit and this unit. Yeah. And in the 636, you get the 360 mil on this side of the van yeah. in this unit here, uh -huh. which gives you the extra workspace here. And then on the other side of the vehicle, yeah, you get this cupboard. 360 mil works on. This so I guess here. if you, presumably, could you lose this cupboard and have a long one that side, or is there something structural behind that you? Um, I think you would want this cupboard because the, the the van has got the big fridge. Yeah. Then you know we do need some kind of wardrobe storage, yeah, and yeah. that is really kind of where that where that works. Yeah. So that is you know good wardrobe space, uh, and it does allow you to have the the big fridge yeah, yeah. in there. The hundred and fifty liters. Yeah, it's, fridge. A, it's a size. I am, aren't I? <laughs> look what and he's then, got uh, in here, look. <laughs> We're having a feast. Are you coming to the party later? Oh, yeah, 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 you're invited. Oh my God. <laughs> so, How are you, Ruth? All right. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Ruth's got one of our bags. I know she has, yeah, yeah, she's on the group. She's lovely, yeah, she's lovely. Yeah. Um, so, here, what you can do is have this fridge, even in the Oslo, yes. the, the van that we're in. You could have that as the 90 litre fridge here yeah and then uh, and you know, could uh, have storage underneath which is what well. we which is what we've got in the eldest we've got a 90 there yeah. and then storage a, a storage there. underneath yeah on this one because it's got the 360 extra length here yeah it actually gives you a, almost a his and hers yes <laughs> you, you know you've got the yeah. shelf storage there maybe for your casual things and then some hanging in there so that yeah. would be another option if yeah. you wanted to utilize Although, that space 
There's less beer then. There's less beer, that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. But it's, yeah, yeah, it's a nice fridge, they had a big yeah, nice... It is. And that's you, you've got your wine cooler at the bottom on this big yeah, one, haven't you? Yeah, so? it is, it's a good fridge. You know, for a panel van, usually, you know, if we've seen people downsizing, you know, that's where the, the, yeah, one the, of their concerns is. the fridge. They're going to end up with a smaller fridge. Yes. Uh, yeah. and, and, and less storage. And, and they're very pleasantly surprised, yeah. you know, in a vehicle this size, how much storage you can get. Yeah. And, you know, no compromise on the fridge there as well. Right. Thank you, Scott. Hey, no worries. Cheers. Right. So this was another on our list of choices that uh, the layout was fantastic. Um, this is a Devon Aztec XL. The good thing we liked about this was it had got the little window like the SNL has, although it's got a compressor fridge. Sorry, it's got a three way fridge. But we did speak to the guys at Devon and they said they could fit a compressor. So I'll have a quick nosy around this one as well, just to show you what we liked and what we didn't. So, in the XL, what we really did like again, same with the Vantage EOS, huge boot in this one. And uh, you still get the full U-shape, no issues with any of that. But you do, you can see, you've lost the, the centre of your kitchen. So where you gain at the back, same with the EOS, you're losing the centre. And ultimately, that's what we decided to go with the SNL for. You do get your little window and your little workbench, but you're still not going to get your legs under there, which was another off-putting thing for us and we've got a door and the shower curtain so you can see when we did the list we worked out you know the best we could we think with the SNL but it's a lovely van and uh, the prices are, are quite fair on these to be honest if you look you can if you can read backwards on a used Citroen or Peugeot 64 and a half on a new Fiat when available 67.5 so they are quite cheap and they're a lovely van right I'm at Vantage um, I did want to show you around the EOS which was one on our list unfortunately it's sold and it's locked up uh, I'll, I'll show you a quick walk around it then I'll explain what I'm gonna do so this one has a really big boot um, and it's it's very similar in the layout of the Devon Aztec I can just show you that. Unfortunately, it's sold straight away. However, what I'm able to do is, um, thanks to Mike from the French's Motorhomies, and I will link his video in the description, I'm going to steal a bit of footage. It's okay, I have asked his permission just to show you the inside of this van. And, uh, You'll see why it was sort of on our list, but never made it. Yeah. Three burner gas hob. You've got decent sized flat there. It's huge. Rear lounge. Hopefully that was a bit of help the three vans that I filmed there. Well, I say three, obviously couldn't get around the EOS. But yeah, thanks to Mike from the Frenchies, he said I could pinch some of his footage. Show you need some tea. So yeah, thanks for that, Mike. And uh, yeah, really interesting talking to Scott actually from Consort. Um, although I don't, you know, I don't regret the SNL. Um, Scott was very, very helpful. So I think if you're thinking of looking for a van, and you're not bothered about the Scott was very big in in you know holding his hands up and saying if you want the front like you want the front I don't do that and and I thought that was big of him you know he didn't try and oversell but he he, he was really you know accommodating with what he could do so if you are thinking of a console I will say 
fair play to Scott and have a word with him because he can adapt them vans quite well to to your needs to a degree so yeah that was good so hopefully as i say this has helped someone and uh, i will catch you on another van review somewhere don't know when tada a bit